Hey guys, this is Emma here at Pocketful Bunnies, and today I'm going to be doing a rabbitry tour for you guys. And so, let's just jump into this. So right now I'm in the doorway of the barn. We also use, keep some horse stuff in it, so you will see some of that. But one half of it's horse stuff, and one half of it's mostly rabbits. It's pretty clean right now, I just made sure, I just finished putting everything away from a show and stuff. So it should be pretty clean, but I haven't like cleaned the cages in just a couple days. So, don't like worry about those, they're being cleaned probably tomorrow since today's getting kind of late. And I have family coming over and I need to clean up my room and stuff. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into this tour. So, this is the barn view from the doorway. Um, I apologize for the messy counter, it's just some random stuff, most stuff that needs to clean still. As some of you know I just did like um, fall cleaning, oh, but I still have this handful of water bottles and stuff that needs to clean. Um, not using them until they're cleaned obviously. Okay, so over here on the um, right side from entering the door, I have Effie and her babies in this cage. And I'm not sure if this cage is going to stay here or if it's going to be temporary. But you can see them here. And yes, it needs cleaned again, I know. Then I have these cages over here that I'm selling. Oh, so directly like in front of the doorway because the door is kind of like there's just one side to it. Um, so directly in front of the doorway, I have these cages. When you first walk in, this is really what you see. So this is like one of my cages that I use for quarantine because it's in a corner away from other rabbits. And it's just not my favorite cage overall just because the door is kind of small. Um, so this is a rabbit that she is in quarantine right now. Um, down below it, I have another cage. It's a 18 by 24, and this has Fonzie in it at the moment. Over here, this is Laurel, and she is in, I'm not really sure what size this cage. It's probably about 24, like, with cross, but it's pretty tall. Like, I can't fit all of it in the camera screen right here. But this is Laurel, and it's big enough for a doe with a litter, so she will be just staying in there for her babies. So on top of this, which is actually a dog cage converted into a rabbit cage, on top of it I keep my water, and I have a funnel for my water, and um, just some posy mats there. That's like the left side of the barn right there. So over like in the middle, I have a carrier slash cage. It can be either one, depending if I take the divider out or not. I have a bag of feed that I need to finish putting into containers, but I didn't. To the right side, I have all this stuff. I have a vacuum cleaner just for sweeping the floor mostly, um, sometimes getting fur off cages. And then right here I have this this storage thing and I just keep in here there's bowls like that just sit in the cage and up here I have dishes that clip onto the cage in some way or another and I just like that way better to know instead of mixing them all up. I have a lot, so there's no room. This is just random stuff. It's mostly extra parts to uh, cages, carriers, water bottles, and feeders. In case I need that. Up here, it's mostly like toys and shoes stuff. As you can see, I don't have very many up here because most of the toys are in the bunnies' cages. But I, they do go in there when I have more. Up here is kind of random stuff again. Um, Ziploc bags. Some urine guards, which should be in cages, and some zip ties. And on top of this, I have a part, part to the vacuum pan and some water bottles. The water bottles I've actually cleaned. Then, I'm going to start at the bottom. The bottom, this is a, like really big cages. They're bigger than 24 by 24s, maybe about the same. They have to be a little bit bigger. They look fair. These are great for dose of litters. So I have Tessie in there. And Magic is on the other side just because she was with her sister and I just haven't moved her. And I might not move her. And so that's that cage. And then the next level, which is not all connected, just different cage stacked. I have these guys. These are a little bit bigger than 18 by 24s. Again, don't have exact measurements. But here, 
I have babies. I have what's well, Butterfinger and Razzles in there. And then I'll light them up and Oreo are on this side. And they're just going and they're in pairs. So they still have enough room and they can snuggle at night because it gets cold. And on top is a cage um, that's about the same size as the one I have the babies in. And maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit smaller, like an inch or two. I don't have anyone in it and I have a hanging green table right here. So still on the left side of the barn, if you go over, this is all the way on like the back, um, oh, windows, on the, and this is like the left side of the back, and you can see right now I have no one in these bottom two stackers, so I could cover up the front of those, so I have extra shavings and extra stall pellets, which I went in trays and litter boxes there, and I have my cart for carrying stuff and just shows, and now it shows, because it's much easier. And then in my stacker... I have, at the moment, I have Bear, hey baby, and I have Tizrock, and Chunk, they all love attention, and Thumper over here, um, and they all have J-Feeders, I just need a J-Feeder for that last one down there, but the whole stacker has J-Feeders, so that's a stacker, it's a six hole stacker, and the holes are 18 by 24, but on top of the stacker, I keep carriers, and just some miscellaneous boxes and bins and stuff. So I put stuff in them, and sometimes I give them the rabbits to sit in because they like to play in them and stuff. Focus. Focus. There we go. Okay. This is the back wall, but it's like the middle of it. Um, we'll start at the bottom. At the bottom, I have shavings, which is in a huge box, but it says clothes, boy clothes on it, but it's not clothes. So shavings extra bin in the back there. Nest boxes, the pellet stall pellets. Going up, um, this is a wolf, and I don't know how big this cage is, but it's good for like smaller rapids. So just a wolf in there. And then I have a bin right here. In here I normally go cardboard rolls that I give rabbits hay with, but I haven't brought them down from the house yet, so it's empty. And then up on, on the other one, is, this is English Bot Dash. Dash Junior Bot Dash. And He's a for sale, so I might have to move him before I sell him because he's kind of outgrowing his cage and it looks smaller on camera than it actually is. But yeah, he's here too. So continuing along our back wall to the left side now. Um, this is just a bag, a feed bag that has trash in it. It's not interesting. Um, a calendar, harnesses, and then cages. This cage is in the corner. This is a little bit bigger than 24 by 24. It's actually like a dog grooming cage and it works for rabbits because um, I don't know if you can see but it has like slotted floor but it's like rubber floor so it's not wire and I like that. And that's the trays and everything. So down at the bottom El Viver, Satin Ingora or Satin Ingora mix, not 100% sure right now, is down here in the bottom. And then up in the top level is the Gloria, and they're both hopefully expecting litters. Gloria first, and then Elvira later. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Um, comment, subscribe, and if you have any questions, leave them below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.